There's a lot to love about Miles Sanders with the Philadelphia Eagles. He has excellent short area quickness, and he also has the long speed to break off big gains. As the season went on, he developed into an impact player in both the run game and the receiving game, with over 800 yards rushing and over 50 receptions and 500 yards receiving. The Eagles used him a ton in the screen game, and he's really, really good in space. So the Eagles like to get him going in some outside zone, some quick pitches, anything that gets him outside. He is still a rookie though, and because of that, he makes some rookie mistakes. He lacked aggressiveness and pass protection. He had some issues setting up blocks and reading double teams on inside zone and the inside run game. But overall, Philadelphia fans should be pretty excited about their rookie running back. Since Frank Reich left for Indianapolis, the Eagles' run game has been relatively simple. They run predominantly just inside zone and outside zone. The inside zone emphasizes double teams at the point of attack. So two offensive linemen are gonna work on one defensive lineman and create a drive and push up to the linebacker in that second level. The whole point is to push the line of scrimmage and let the running back read the double team. The running back is aiming for the play side A gap, so that's usually off the center's outside leg. And if the linebackers fill incorrectly off that double team, there's room for cutbacks against the flow of the defense. If that linebacker is passive, the double team has time to work up to them. When the linemen get the push, like right here, the linebackers have to decide which direction they're going to fill. Sanders has to be patient and then explode and make the linebacker wrong. Here he does a good job of pushing that play side A gap, and as that strong safety fills, he cuts off the double team back the other way. And even though the guard and the center both leave the defensive tackle and he ends up making the play, you can see the idea where those offensive linemen are coming off the double team to go climb and block second level defenders. While Sanders has shown that he can read the inside zone concept and work off of double teams, he's just very, very inconsistent on being able to read it. On inside zone runs, he often lacks patience and tries to bounce things outside too early. Even when his double teams are winning, he can try to bounce and eliminate that positive play. The whole point of inside zone is to create that initial push inside and move the line of scrimmage down the field. When Sanders tries to bounce it outside, there's nobody there to help him out. A lot of the times, he's just too quick to get away from that initial play design. And that's part of being a rookie running back. It's, it's understanding that discipline that you have to have to play within the framework of the offense and understanding where your blockers are going to be and what the scheme is designed to accomplish. While he's much, much better at outside zone, he can still struggle a little bit with those double team concepts. Mostly it's just an over eagerness to get to that cutback or to bounce outside. Kelsey does a really good job here, reach blocking and sealing that defender inside. And this is, this is not an easy block. And instead of staying on his initial track and using that block to get to the outside, he cuts back right into the flow of the defense. While Sanders can be over eager to cut back and get away from the initial play design, he reads outside zone much better than he does inside zone. On outside zone, the running back reads outside in. So he looks first to the defensive end. If he seals it off, then he looks one hole inside. If the next gap is filled, he looks inside again, and so on and so forth down the line. You can see him executing that really, really well here as he looks first at that defensive end who ends up walling off the outside. He shifts his eyes to the next hole inside, reads that the next defender also has outside leverage and then gets vertical off the block. The outside zone allows Sanders to use his short area quickness and his explosiveness while pressing the outside and getting himself into space. Sanders is much more decisive, explosive, and gets north and south much faster when he runs outside zone. Even though the outside zone concept can end up leading Miles Sanders inside towards the interior of the defense, he still reads it much more decisively and effectively than he does inside zone. You can see the power and effectiveness of outside zone here as Miles Sanders pushes to his right, which forces the linebackers to scrape over and pursue that way also. That defensive flow is exactly what you're looking for for a cutback. Pressing the play side gives time for the offensive lineman to work up to the second level and can open up huge holes on the backside. So to get Sanders on the edge where he's most comfortable, the Eagles will run a lot of screens to him. Typically, they'll do a two-man guard and center screen where Sanders can get out towards the sideline and see the whole field. He's really, really good at navigating traffic once he decides and puts his foot in the ground. That small area quickness is super effective and impactful, and he consistently turns these screens into big plays. And a lot of the success of the screens is made possible because Kelsey is an absolute monster in the open field. He does a really good job of blocking in space and getting out on the perimeter and getting his hands on those smaller DB types. It's pretty hard to find a center as athletic as he is and he's able to consistently block those guys in the open field. He's really a perfect fit for Sanders skill set because he can block outside zone really well and he's good at those reach blocks and getting out in space. Sanders excels in the open field and that's why he's so effective on plays that are more lateral in nature. So outside zones, screens, swings, quick pitches. 
They're all in his wheelhouse and he runs them really well. The Eagles will play action Sanders into the flats a lot instead of having him doing a scan protection or just pure pass pro like a lot of teams do. It avoids forcing him to pick up blitzes while he gets used to an NFL protection system, and it also gets him into space where he's most effective. Since he always leaks out on these plays, now the Eagles can screen underneath it. Their center, Jason Kelsey, again leads the way along with both of their guards, and Sanders reads his blocks and picks up 24 easy yards. While Sanders definitely has some aspects to his game that need to be polished and worked on, he's an exceptional weapon in the open field and on outside runs. He can attack and make defenses pay in multiple ways through the air and on the ground, but the next step for him is to become a more complete back and more decisive in the run game to help the Eagles gain the tough yards inside. His ceiling is incredibly high and the Eagles have clearly found their running back of the future. With two elite tight ends in Zach Ertz and Dallas Goddard, and now with the addition of Jalen Rayer, the Philadelphia Eagles are about to bring some fireworks to the 2020 season. If you liked the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. It helps a lot as the channel is growing. Comment what player or team you'd like me to analyze next as well. Make sure to go check out weeklyspiral.com for a written form of this video and see everything I'm working on. You can find our Patreon and social handles in the description of the video as well. So until next time, I'm Casey Sully, and I'll see you on the next Film Breakdown.